I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Supreme Court Justice Barry Anderson did the honors as Michelle Fishbach took the oath of office as Lieutenant Governor, a post that she automatically ascended to in January when Tina Smith was appointed to Al Franken's U.S. Senate seat. I never expected that I would become Lieutenant Governor, especially this way, but I do appreciate the opportunity. At the same time, the Painesville Republican resigned from the Senate seat that she's held for 22 years, and Destiny DeSoski, a constituent who challenged Fishbach's right to do both jobs, dropped her lawsuit. And so that was one of the big decisions, is do we want this lawsuit to drag on and on, and um, that this will, this will end the lawsuit. Congratulations, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. She becomes the state's 49th lieutenant governor and the first one to move to the post from Senate president since 1976, when Senator Alex G. Olson moved up to replace Rudy Perpich, who had just taken over for Wendy Anderson. Now, the big question, will Fishbach join the Tim Pawlenty ticket as a running mate? Right now I'm here to talk about um, my 22 years of service and becoming lieutenant governor. If there's questions about that, there may be other folks that you want to ask. Fishbach is Dayton's third lieutenant governor following Tina Smith and before her, Yvonne Pretner Solon of Duluth. This is the best press conference I've ever been involved in. <laughs> governor Dayton has decided to schedule the special election for Fishbach's vacant seat to coincide with the regular election cycle. So for now, the Minnesota Senate will be divided 33 Democrats to 33 Republicans. From the Capitol, I'm John Croman.